Our final introduction is being made by Patrick Ryan, who said he and Lamorne Morris consider themselves to be brothers. Both went to high school and COD together before moving on to make it big. You may recognize Patrick from his role as Deputy Fox in the horror movie Candy Corn. <laughs> Hi, my name is Patrick Ryan, and uh, I'm here to introduce Lamorne Morris uh, for the Distinguished Alumni Award. Uh, Lamorne has been my best friend, my brother, for 25 years. Uh, we went to Glumbard South together, College of DuPage together, uh, separate times at Second City Chicago together. Um, and Lamorne has been uh, one of the most influential people in my life, but I think I'm speaking on behalf of other alumni uh, who have been friends with Lamorne for um, maybe not as long as I have, um, that he is uh, really an amazing person uh, beyond being an actor. Lamorne will will tell you that he's wanted to be an entertainer from a very early age. I remember in high school, we would talk together about wanting to do a buddy cop movie together. Um, we always loved Beverly Hills Cop. We always loved that back and forth, give and take, and comedy bouncing off each other. Uh, and that's almost how our relationship has been to this very day, is we can kind of finish each other's sentences, we can read each other's minds, we'll demonstrate later. Lamorne uh, went on from COD to do commercials for the White Sox, McDonald's, uh, get on to uh, TV on uh, New Girl, uh, Woke, uh, Bloodshot, Game Night, uh, and then arguably my favorite project that he ever did, April Fools. Well, more than you played Melvin, and you did a great job. You were bullied, and uh, you got your revenge. Uh, but I would say uh, your revenge uh, ultimately in life has been your success. Um, you've been an incredibly talented, successful person. You haven't let success change you. Um, you've allowed uh, people like myself and our other close-knit group of friends um, really stay true to our friendship and stay true to a whole as to what made us all friends at that very time. Um, fans will come up to Lamorne all the time, whether we're out walking, whether we're at dinner, uh, even at a movie theater, and we'll ask to take a picture with him, an autograph, and Lamorne's response is simple, absolutely. I would love to. I'd love to talk to you, spend a little bit of time. Uh, Lamorne's not one of those people that will push people away. He'll, he'll bring them in. He wants to know about their day, what they do, where they're from. Uh, that's who he is as a person. Um, he, he doesn't sit there and talk about himself. He cares so much about his fans and taking time because he knows what it's like to, to not be in this light. He's earned every ounce of being an actor. He's earned every ounce of fame. Uh, but Lamorne has made contributions um, to COD uh, in both uh, donations as well as time. Um, this doesn't... Uh, surprised me in the least bit. Lamorne has always wanted to give back uh, from what he had taken. And Lamorne took education. He took talent. He took opportunity here at College of DuPage. Uh, and he always wanted to make sure he gave back. We're incredibly proud of you. Um, you deserve this award. And uh, I couldn't think of a better person uh, to, to have it. Uh, so thank you so much for everything you've done for me, for the community, for COD, and um, Man, I'm really proud of you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my, hold on, I just want to put this in front of my family and friends just so they could see it. Just so, just so you guys can get a good look at it, I want you guys to see it. Hold on, one more. Hold, just. That's what greatness looks like. So get a real good, that's right, that's my brother with it right now. Get a good look at it. I want you guys to start respecting me. Okay. I'm going to go through, some of my friends and family are here. I want to go, Alicia, that's Alicia. 
That's my mother right there, my beautiful mother. That's my brother, Devon. My sister, Kenitra, that's my niece, I'm gonna name everybody. Nia, that's Rudy right there, that's Amari, that's Mike Fadigato, former COD, that's Mike Chino right there, uh, that's Mrs. McCumber right there, that's Patrick Ryan, the liar right there, <laughs> that's Tierra right there, that's Matt and that's Peter. Thank you all for being here. Pete, the Killians are here. Who am I missing? I'm, I think Anthony is here. Okay, we got we got some we got a lot of people here that 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 know me, and I and I definitely appreciate it. Um, but I want you all to um, start uh, recognizing me now as uh, the honorable, uh, the distinguished, the most high, uh, Lamorne. You don't have to say my last name because once you say all the other stuff, I think they'll know who you're talking about. <laughs> Uh, so thank you. Um, uh, first and foremost, I, I do want to give all honor and glory to God for allowing this opportunity to happen. Um, I think I speak for a lot of people in this room. I, I, I wouldn't be here without, uh, without that. Um, a lot of times in my life I've been, you know, the life of an artist or an actor or anyone, it can be daunting, it can be uh, troubling. You can find yourself uh, in compromising situations and uh, without the, the grace of God, I, I don't think that, uh, actually I know, I, I wouldn't have uh, been here today. So, so thank God for that. Um, my mother, my mother right there. If, if anyone knows my mom, you would know that this is, my mom is where I get my, my sense of humor from. Uh, I'm not sure if you all saw her on Kimmel. Yep, she was on Kimmel recently. She, and she decided to sit in the front row just like she did today. And I gotta ask you again, mom, did you inhale? Did you, did you, no? Okay, I would keep it clean. I didn't say anything bad there. I didn't say. <laughs> um, my siblings uh, who are here today, thank you uh, for always supporting me, always encouraging me. My sister is literally wearing uh, a t-shirt that I made. Um, I thank you all, my nieces, my friends, my family. I really do appreciate this. Um, so my mom moved us to, to the DuPage area, Glen Ellen, Wheaton, when I wanna say I was about 14 years old. We moved from the south side of Chicago. And, and that was one of the, the best decisions I think you could have made for us just because it's where I learned, it's where I learned a lot. It's where I formed a lot of friendships, a lot of relationships, um, and it's where, uh, it's, it's why I'm here, it's why I came to the College of DuPage. When I was 14, I, I got a job at the College of DuPage bookstore. And, well, one, because we lived right across the street, I'm not gonna lie to you, it was, um, it was pretty convenient. Uh, we lived right there at the Briarcliff Apartments, and um, that's where you were? I thought you looked familiar. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> we, um, What's up? <laughs> okay. So I could, you know, I got the I got the opportunity to work at the College of DuPage bookstore. I mean, there was there was a guy across the hall. I think he was selling illegal things. I could have worked for him, but I didn't. I I chose a different path. I chose the bookstore. And let me tell you, boy, was that job boring. I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. Every day, cash register, books. I didn't like it. So I just kept thinking. My goodness, I can't wait to skip college someday. That, that's honestly what I thought. Like, is this what college is like? Fast forward to years later, I'm at the College of DuPage. I won the Chris Farley uh, Second City Memorial Scholarship to go here, and it changed my life. Thank you, thank you. Um, when I say it changed my life, I, I don't think you understand. I got a chance to meet some of the greatest teachers um, and directors that you could, you could ever ask for. I think Ken is here today. Uh, shout out to Ken, uh, mere mortals. Um, uh, let's see, we got Amelia Barrett here. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, Craig Berger. Um, and Connie Canada Howard, man. <laughs> greatest teacher I've ever had. I, 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 I could not make that up. Till this day, we, she still keeps in contact with me. She still checks in on me. The, the idea behind staying committed, staying disciplined uh, in your craft, making bold choices, 
that that has stuck with me uh, through my entire career. So I, I definitely thank you all for always instilling that in me. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't be the actor that I am today. Uh, hopefully, I've made you proud. Um, let's see. Um, also, while here at the College of DuPage, I got a chance to perform. I got a chance to share the stage with some, with some amazing actors, um, none of which are here today. So thank you all for your support. Um, wherever you are in this world, you had, obviously you had something better to do than to come here and support me. I've done so much for you. But we do have, we do have someone here in the audience today, uh, Mike Fadigato. Uh Mike, can you wave to everybody, please? Mike Fadigato. When I tell you this man is the greatest actor on the planet, I'm not, I, 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 I'm not joking. I, I, this man has taught me so much as a performer. And I, I, till this day, before I go on stage, I say the same thing that Mike has always told me before every performance. He would shake my hand, he would look me directly in the eye, and he would always say, make it great. Otherwise, what are we doing? You know, in life, I feel like that's what we have to do. We have to be bold in our choices. Mike has always taught me before I go on stage, make a big entrance. That's why all that silliness when I first got up here. Because if the rest of the speech is trash, at least the beginning was good. <laughs> so thank you, Mike, for always instilling that in me. I appreciate it, brother. Hope to share the screen with you someday. Um, guys, I think that is my time. I think that is my time. I, again, I do want to thank you all for being here and for the, for, and for the future students of COD, the current students of COD, I want you to know something. Always dream big, but not too big, just because I don't need the competition. It's so hard. So thank you all. <laughs>